Soda and styrofoam. Spend a day to get my mind blown. Dress it up and go to Nassau. 200 miles on the Good morning, everyone. I'm Samuel Heaton, and you're watching the Hawk Hit News. As always, we have a couple headlines, important school announcements, and a new segment called the Whisper Challenge. Let's start things off with the Hawk Hit Headlines. Recently, a teen in Ohio posed as a state senator and decided to see how long he could get away with it. He was eventually arrested and pleaded guilty for impersonating a peace officer. While touring a high school, he was even able to give an hour-long speech with nobody questioning it. Later, the real senator showed up and everyone realized they had been fooled, leading to the teen's arrest. He apologized and said he's glad the school improved security. A Minneapolis science teacher took hands-on learning to the next level when he lit a student's hand on fire in class. The student, er, the student was instructed by the teacher to dip his hand into a container of methane-filled soap bubbles, and then a lighter was held to his hand. The methane-filled bubbles briefly ignited and flames engulfed the boy's hand, but quickly put themselves out. Thankfully, the student was left unharmed and amazed. Think you're too old for Easter egg hunting? Some parents think age doesn't matter. A town located in Connecticut was having a giant egg hunt for the entire town, hosted by the company that makes Pez candy dispensers, but it was quickly ruined. Before the hunt could begin, parents came and stormed the field, stealing over 10,000 eggs before kids could even try and get them. The poor behavior of the parents reportedly ruined Easter for quite a few people. Tired of counting sheep at night? Perhaps you'd prefer counting sharks instead. At the official Paris Aquarium, some special guests have been chosen to spend a few nights at an underwater hotel, with hundreds of sharks swimming right outside the guest's window. The tank contains 3 million liters of water, and all guests have to be over 18 and in good health condition to stay at the hotel. That's it for today's headlines. Now let's head over to Taylor with the news you need to know. I'm Taylor Gatto, and this is the news you need to know. There will be a GSA meeting in Ms. Cornell's room today. Everyone's welcome to attend and please bring your lunch. There will be a brief senior class meeting in the library today after school. We will discuss upcoming senior events and the graduation party. A new group is forming on campus. The Cultural Awareness Club is an opportunity to talk about cultures in our school and community. Bring your ideas and what you would like to see this group do. Meet us Tuesday, April 5th in the distance delivery room. Seniors, a representative from Kendall Auto Scholarship Program will be visiting Hutch during lunch on, fr on Friday, April 1st. She'll be available to talk with interested students about the Kendall Auto Scholarship and application process. Ten $1,000 scholarship awards are available and one applicant will also win a new car. Please see the representative in the comments during lunch on April 1st if interested. Hutchison Academic Decathlon is preparing a rummage sale in May and looking for donations. As you're doing your spring cleaning, remember them. I'm Taylor Gatto, and this has been the news you need to know. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Taylor. For a special segment today, we have a couple students competing in the Whisper Challenge. One person will put on headphones playing loud music, and another will whisper something. One wearing headphones has to try and guess what they're saying. Let's head on over and see who will win between Emma and Riley. It's the Whisper Challenge. I like pickles. Did you, did you say something about makeup? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I like pickles. So you like pickles? Yeah! <laughs> Do you cook with salt and pepper? Do I like salt and pepper? <laughs> you cook with salt and pepper. Do I cook with salt and pepper? Yeah! <laughs> Alright, that's it for the show today. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, Hawks.